We've got an issue. The frame is still twisted in the front. We're good here, we're good back there, still twisted in the front. But before we get to that, we're gonna fix that. In this video, that's what me and Doug are gonna do. We're gonna fix it. But before we go there, we wanna wish Jolene a happy birthday. Happy Come birthday, on, Doug. Jolene. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday, happy to, birthday you. to you. <laughs> happy birthday, Jolene. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. She's my one and only, boys. Back off, she's mine. All right. <laughs> um, we have the chassis is straight here and straight in the back. I want to go over a couple things before we do what we're going to do. Where did I put that? Um, there's been a, a few just minor things that, you know, some people, you know, I hear that uh, the rear end, how do, you, how do you know if that's level in the back when you put the hats on? Well, I leveled the rear end first and then the rear end is welded to the chassis. I'm thinking that the rear end is straight, so I should be allowed to go off the rear end, basically. When I had the thing flipped over, when I put the hats on, you watch me put the level on the rear end, I'm thinking that that's straight. I'll just say it one more time. That means I should be able to put the hats on by using the level. When we roll the frame over to the table, this is straight because it has that rear end welded on it. So we just rolled it up to the table. In the front, it was not. You watched us push it down. I had tacked tack of the cross member in the cross member or the transmission cross member and the x frame in there not completely solid because i wanted to we had the motor in um, so basically i took advantage of the motor being in the chassis to grab a few things and and then have them i have that transmission mount where it needs to be um, the cross member i didn't want to what can i say i didn't want it to take off anywhere so I put it in before we put it on there, and then when we pried it down, then that's when I busted the welds on it to keep it in place. Now we're going to the front end. Uh, we're, remember, I have to, you don't have to remember, but the chassis has been welded up. Like it's been, someone has played with it, they made it what they want it, and uh, obviously they didn't have a table like we have. And that's not even a table, like it's just an <coughs> I-beam welded together, which I feel like would stay straight full time. Also, with the rear end things that we have, arms, um, there's, you know, there's people going, you know, do you need, you, what about adjustment and all that sort of stuff? Have you ever seen a new car with adjustment in the rear end? Not me. You usually buy the, the trailing arm or whatever the arm it's called, you bolt it in and that's it. There's no adjustment. Exactly what we have done. Now, are they long, too long or too short? Thunderbird, there they are without the bushing in it. No, no adjustment and shorter than what we have. So basically, you know, there's a lot of things that are said as we're building this car. And to me, it's like, mm -hmm. in, in all honesty, it's just basically not taking the time to think. Basically, if you would have thought about a new car, if you've ever taken a, a control arm off the rear end, there's no adjustment in them. There, they don't give you that chance. And we we're doing the exact same thing here. Um, when I use the rear end as saying that it's straight, I think that should be okay, um, basically. And there's a lot of things that, you know, things are said, and then people question it and think, well, yeah, yeah, you gotta do that. No, you do it your way, make yourself happy, and that's the end of it, like basically, because there's so many things said. If I listen, I wouldn't have hubcaps on my trailer. I couldn't build a car with control iron. I couldn't do it with the junk that we have in the door yard. If it didn't have adjustment, there's so many things you wouldn't do if you listen to everybody. Are we supposed to build it how someone else wants us to? No, no, no. I'm just, I'm just trying to let them know that just slow it down a little bit and you're allowed to do anything that you've seen on a car that's on the road that they have done from, from our Suburban to your Nissan to that Volvo out there. So anything that you see on them cars, Basically, I feel like I'm allowed to do it. With the control arms, I feel the same way. Anyways, we'll carry on. And also, another thing, when a frame is like, frame like this is off a little bit, I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. Like it really, it's really not. And we're gonna explain that to you. When, when you fill your Ford truck up or your Chev truck up and you go in the ditch 
and, and you come back out of the ditch and you got a little bit of a load on the back of her and uh, you, you're standing back, if someone's standing back looking at you go through that ditch, they're saying, wow, that truck sort of twisted up. When it comes back out of the ditch, straight as an arrow, if you know what I'm trying to say. Some of this stuff is made for that flex. Uh, all of it, I think, from Mr. Ford there, I think is all for flex, driving through wood roads and that stuff. All right, let's pick it up. What I want to do is, <clears throat> okay, see, we're, do, we're, do, we're good. If you can see, this is on there, hard on there, and that's hard on there. That means that's straight, that light being straight, that's not going to be crooked, it's straight. Don't care if it's level, it's straight. What we're going to do is we're going to take, what we have is we have an issue, if you want to put that in, sweetheart. Too much, too much talking, not enough breathing. You can see this is a little crooked here. To me, that's how it feels. It is crooked, because I'll show you a little bit. Doesn't look that bad. All right, let's do this. Well, what we're going to do is, I'm going to move this table ahead a little bit. On this side, weld that one. You want to turn the welder on, Doug? I'll get you to weld that down, old buddy. If you don't mind. I'm going to pull this table back here. I'm just going to get them corners nailed down. So this is what I want to do. We're going to nail the corners down. So I'm going to nail, get this table straight. I want to get the table straight with the frame, that's all. Yeah, what I'm trying to say. So, that is straight from there to there. Uh, because it's hitting on both ends, both sides. It's hard down, that I-beam is straight. Don't care if it's level, don't care. We're going to take this off. We're going to plant it underneath here, underneath this piece. Um, I either cut one side and pull it down, or cut one side and pull it up. Let's go to it. I'm just, excuse me for a second, I've got to let her go. <laughs> Isn't it Doug? All right, Doug. If you say so. <laughs> I don't get allergies, buddy. You don't? No. Just a second. Let's um, clean that up right there. And you'll weld it on. Get ready. All right. Doug has proven to be a welder. <laughs> we, we banged it out this morning, didn't we, Doug? Yeah, we sure we, did. We kicked ass. Yep. All right. Let's, I just wanted to get... Let's weld that on there, Doug. Just weld that. It's gonna stay. Give me a little shot in there. Make just just make sure it stays. That's all. Sure, buddy. <laughs> it's funny, you know, when when somebody says something, it causes so much doubt and and ruckus that you know sometimes yeah that's the way the world is today. You can say anything you want to on the internet, whether it's true or whether it's not. And then you really have to cipher through that stuff and, and figure out if it's right or not. Seeing it on the internet must be true. Well, I'm, I'm just going to... Has to be. I'm going to say, like, if, basically, I go by, if you've seen it on another car, you're allowed to do it. So when we're doing things here, or anywhere, if you've seen it on a car, you're basically doing... I'm doing this. I should be allowed to do the exact same thing. That's fitting good, Doug. Hit that, will you? Give her a little bit back there, make sure she stays. Um, I'm saying that the rear end of the chassis is being held straight with the rear end. It's like, you know what I mean, basically. This is straight here because we're on both corners of the chassis coming in straight. It, if it was cocked up, we'd be off a little bit, but she's good. Um, now we got this piece here. Let's knock this off. I'm going to knock this square top stock off. <clears throat> Watch yourself.
I'm just going to shift, sit this on here for shits and giggles, just for now. Um, Douglas, um, tape measure, please. You heard it. You heard it from me first. Tape measure. <laughs> We're going to do a tape measure thing. Let's turn this upside down this way. Um, I'm still saying that it's straight. It'd be right there, wouldn't it? Hmm. Just gonna lay it on there. I'm gonna do this. Just see how much we are out, or if we are even are out. So to the bottom of that frame, we are eight and, and three quarter on the bottom of that frame. We are eight and a half. We're off quarter, like a quarter of an inch. That doesn't seem like a lot, does it? It doesn't seem like a lot. But it does look like when you when you when we put the front end underneath it last night, it did look crooked, didn't it? Let's do this. I want to do that again and make sure. I got some grinder marks or some pieces of weld here that are bothering me. I'm going to cut them off. They're eating my way is what they are. Line her up straight. We'll just do a measurement again. Yeah, we can bring that up a bit. So what we're going to do is, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to clean this off. Doug's going to get the water ready. Better if you just use what we had on this one. Okay. of anything to straighten a frame out. You know what I mean? I beam all walled together. Uh, you're not going to bend that stuff. It's straight. And uh, I want to say it's straight anyways. Just trying to line it up with the front. Just trying to get it so I can get the right measurement on it. Hold her on, Doug. Just give me a, like a tack where, where Nathan had it. Should be good. Go for it. Well, we're tacking on this side, huh? Then you, then you can mold it on. And we are on air. Thanks to Rooster, we are on air. Oh, oh did I tell you I'm bad Chad and Queen Jolene's on the camera and Doug's in the house? <laughs> did I tell you that yet? Tack her on good, Doug. Tack her on yeah, good. Yeah, 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 give her, give her a couple shots because I'm going to weld something to it. And then we're going to, I'm going to weld something to this side to keep this in place. And then we're going to actually, we're going to have to relief that side 
and pry that side up is what I'm planning on doing. So we're going to get a measurement here. We're going to put a piece of square stock in here. We'll tack it down where the measurement's supposed to be. We'll cut two pieces of square stock, actually. We'll make them the exact same distance. We'll put one in here, and then when we relief fit that back there, we're going to have to relief that to bend that up. And then we'll put that one underneath there exactly like we did on this side. I'm going to get some square stock. I think it's right behind that. Just gonna wait for a second to get that welded on there. So I hope, you know, you know, some people don't watch the whole video and just say stuff. That's fine, but um, when when there's a comment about stupidity, like it's really it really throws everybody else off, and that's okay because you're the one who said it. <laughs> uh, if you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you think about a Ford truck going in the ditch with the, with the load on it. That thing will twist probably three, four inches. And then, and then people say, well, you're just frame straight. I would say probably half of the half tons around here, probably not straight. Probably twist it somewhere. And does it make a difference when you're going down the road? Half the time people don't know this. We could have welded that up the way it was, I'm sure of it, the front end and the chassis. We would have had no problem with it, I don't think. The only reason we're going for it is because we're going for it. You know what I mean? That's the only reason why we're doing what we're doing. This is my square stock. I only need one piece, I think. I'll take the one without the sticker. Then I'll have to clean that bad boy up. We just put a piece of 1 8 flat strap on there. That's 1 8 by uh, 3 inch. Doug fit that in there this morning. All the chassis was welded up. We did quick on that. We did a good job on that. Doug is super dead. <laughs> oh, he's not ready yet. We're just going to give him, tack that on there a little bit better. It's not much on the front, but I, I will say when we pull it out, when we pull it off, and we put the front area in it, we do notice it. So we're gonna, it's not a, that much, but we do notice it. And I'm not worrying about anything being level or anything. I'm going with the table. That's straight. I want to make this straight with that. So we're basically, we're using this as going straight across here. We'll use this one to keep it in place. Ah, poke myself in the eye. Now, what I'm going to do is, I wonder what I should do. I probably should pluck it right underneath if I can. Would make it nice. Or we can pluck it right on its side. Um, let's do it right there. Gonna make this one a little bit longer, that's all. There's the truth teller right there. That's the one that fits nice and tight and right. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna weld this one in and we'll make sure this one fits because we can gap that one up, weld that together, but we'll just make sure this one fits on this side. Have you got your welder ready, Doug? Mm -hmm. Just gonna, so you can get it. Can you? Yeah, give it to me, I'll do it. I gave you. Put it here like so. Let's give it a 
shot in the side should be fine. Should be fine that way, to be honest with you. Yeah, the sucker. Yeah. We want that. This we want to give you one. We're not like we need to go up quite a ways. Well, there's that quarter inch. We need to go up there and get that up a bit. And then I'll be happier. Alright. So what's gonna happen is I have to relief this side. Shut that welder off there, Douglas boys. Um, I have to cut this side to get it to be able to pull it up, basically. Um, to match that side. So that side's welded down. Uh, this side is not. I want to pull this side up. So we can relief it. Like <laughs> they've welded across here. You can see where they welded. They really burned it in. They did an excellent job for what they're doing. But I don't really I don't think I want to get into all that there. I think we're gonna make a new cut here and we'll probably just slice it in here. Like that's that's one I'm th I'm thinking that's one piece of metal in there. It could be two or three. I'm hoping I'm not cutting through. I don't want to cut it through a bunch of metal. And we have the top of the chassis to deal with yet too. So we got this stuff to bring it back together, tie it together. But I'm gonna cut that. Let's do it. I'll draw it wild. What's that? Cutting that frame. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, let's face it. We're we're trying. We're gonna we're gonna square it up a little bit more. We're gonna come up here and just kind of put it in there, that like that. Gonna give me both the same sort of cut towards that angle. We're gonna pull that up, get that to go do that. Don't do this at home, but if you need to, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, if it's yours, cut it all the hell. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> well, I mean, let's, let's face it. It, it, you know, it is what it is. You want to get, grab me another zip cut there, Doug, would you yep. please, old buddy? Yep. I need to get my gloves on. That's hot. Hot. Like Jolene. Happy birthday <laughs> to birthday you. Girl. Get to hear about it all day long. <laughs> What'd she say? Another five years, I'll be 40, she said. I said, wow. That's something to look forward to. Huh? Another five years. Just gonna get cut. The chassis, I think you could throw it off the Bay of Fundy. Wouldn't hurt it. <laughs> yeah, it really isn't it. Yeah. It's quite, it's it's quite it. rigid. Now we're throwing it off the Bay of Fundy. That's awesome. <laughs> we should do that for a video. <laughs> yeah, well, why not? Yeah, yeah exactly. Just like Doug would say, it's your car. I don't care. Yeah, your car. You can do it. See what happens. Can I pull Let's it up? Let's see what happens. Pull up. What's that? Yeah. A sec, Doug. A sec, buddy. We'll just keep running. Check it out. Yep, just a second. Um, I could cut it up further. Yep. Let's, let's just do it together. Sure. Just on this corner. Yep. I don't want to go over there at all, just this corner. down there. Pull it up, Doug. 
Yeah, oh yeah. Second, I'm gonna shove something in there. <coughs> Frame straightening today, Timbo. Frame straightening shop now, Timbo. <laughs> Frame straightening. Huh? I never did any of that actually. I've done some of it before. Have you? Yeah. Now you tell me. No, no, okay. no, we didn't slice anything up or do anything hot rod. We were just. <laughs> Pull up, Doug? Yeah. Corner, just a corner. I get that jammed up in there. And then it can't come out. I need a hammer, too, obviously. <clears throat> this is a badass hammer. This one here, I got a handle off of a torque wrench or whatever. And it's welded in that hammer. And she got some, she got some power. Hammer time. Pull up on back. See if you can slide that stick underneath there. Nope. Almost. Yep. You're gonna have to. Almost. Almost what? What's that? Got her? Yeah, that's got her. They're so sane because we what we uh remember we did that? Um, sometimes it's nice to get it just a little bit beyond, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I got that little jack. What's that little jack we put up on that? Do you know where that is, little it's pump jack? Like you're on the corner, bud. Is it? I do believe so. What you see, we get a little, it's moving here. We're going to have to hit that with a hammer or pry together again with C clamps. C clamps. Two sets, maybe. Oh, look at that now. Just wind that bottle jack down, will you? Yeah. That looks pretty good, though, to be honest with you. Well, that fit in there. Cut that off. Cut that off. That off, he says. Nature molded that on there. Right? That's okay. I bring it over as close to this corner as you can. And I don't, I don't like, lest I don't want that. Well. I don't want to have that. It's got quite a bit of pressure on it. I'd rather have no pressure on it and weld it up. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. That's not bad, though. That works wonderful, bud. Don't work. It's supposed to. Got to tighten up. Yeah. Let's change my fingers and get it. No, this must be the most screw. Why have we thrown this way yet? It's not bad, though. No, I don't mind. I don't mind. It's pretty loose. I mean, it's, it's you know, you can get it in and out. Let's do that. I'd say we weld it back together. But this here is kind of taken off here a little bit. You can see that's taken off going that way. It is. Out. Now we gotta fix it. Still good here? It looks right now. Because I don't want to weld it together unless. Alright, I'm gonna throw something on that, go here, and then I'm gonna hit it with a hammer, I think. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I like to hit it with a hammer, Doug. Well, it just seems like I could probably bring it over a little bit. And remember, we're gonna do some work down here. We're gonna tie something in here. We're gonna cut the top of it off, so there's lots going on there to make that be what we want it to be. I'm just gonna talk that off for a second. Let's clean it so I can get a half decent weld.
Was the quarter inch worth it? Sure it was. Sure it was. Especially if somebody, anybody get anything off it. Got a nice gap going on there. And what I mean, got anything off it, if you're trying to do your frame, well, you, got, you might get got something from it. Pretty good there. Probably should hit it up underneath there is where I should hit it. Just don't know. Let's see if I can straighten it out just a bit more. Good. That's what I didn't want it to do. I just want them corners lined up a little bit better, you know what I mean? These pieces right here. Hey, I got her that time, baby. Beautiful. That jack's working good. <laughs> I'm thinking that we're good. Like I'm, I'm thinking. Like we're up there just... I've already welded it, so... Very well, so she's solid. Just going to tack it together down here, underneath, so it can't take off. And we're going to do that now. that now. We're in place, so I'm going to weld it. What's like today, Tim? You feeling all right, buddy? I don't want to weld that. Chisel in there. No, probably not. Stayed. Awesome. It wasn't, or it's not a whole lot, I don't think, but it's something that we can fix, so we went for it, basically. That's what I'm thinking. And we're into it. We got the table here. Might as well take the chance and go for it. Straighten it out. Nice gap there to weld that back together. And I like to be off and on the trigger because if I don't, I'm just going to burn through and make a mess. That's why I'm off and on the trigger. You can tell where that weld's going. It's going in that hole because it's flat. And as you can notice, or I noticed, when I was down there welding that gap up down there, it was about a quarter of an inch gap, which give me a quarter inch at that end, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like we, you get makes that? Sense. Makes, it makes sense, sense doesn't it? Makes sense, doesn't it? Just something I was looking at while I was down there. And also, that control arm, Doug, will you give me that control arm? Please, that, the control arm and the Mustang and the, the Thunderbird one. Which one would you rather in your car? <laughs> Nathan Brand 
Your Ford. Nathan? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which one would you rather in your car? <laughs> that thing there, like twice. And we have probably the quarter. No, I would say probably a little better in quarter of the weight that that Thunderbird would weigh. This and that little body over there. Just going to pluck this on, weld this up. Just take me a minute and then we'll, yeah, peel that off. Say so called a called a good one. Actually, actually I'm not going to peel it off because there's lots of surgery still going on. I want to cut the top of this off. I'll leave this all mounted here. I'll weld that there. I'll probably just do that right now. I probably should have welded that on the end in case that come up more, but I don't think it would have. Good. Weld this down here. Alrighty, we got her welded up, corner, straight, this is straight, we got both the same pieces underneath both ends now, um, now we're feeling, I'm feeling a little happier about what's going on, I'm feeling a little happier what's going on, looks good, looks good, um, basically in the, in the end also, we're probably going to, we'll probably just straighten those out, it wouldn't take much, we know where there are, we have to build a a gusset for this sort of thing here. See how that's welded on there? And I looked at it. You know, it's welded on there, really. They did an excellent job welding it on. But to be honest with you, with it just hanging on from that weld, we should maybe bring something over top of this maybe from that, um, just to hold it a little bit better. Uh, this is, needs more surgery here, obviously, and it will get it. Uh, we're cruising quite quickly. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming back. I want to thank everybody. I want to pre-thank everybody for wishing Jolene a happy birthday. Uh, Doug bought her a sprinkle donut. Don't think that's getting you anywhere, buddy. <laughs> uh, Made her smile. Yeah. Tim bought her a case of co or a case of Corona. I like I like her taste. Well, my birthday is next month. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming back. We really appreciate it. When you're building a car, <laughs> you know what I say. Do it your way. But in all honesty, if you've seen any other cars out there, what they have done, you're allowed to do the exact same thing to your car. And when it comes to a, a control arm or an arm to hold your rear end in, I just told you, the Thunderbird's smaller, the Thunderbird's weaker, uh, does the same thing. You can do it any way you want to. Make yourself happy. Have a great day and come back tomorrow.